Hello everybody and welcome back. This is Dr. Mridila V. Amarnathir. So first question, how is your journey of pregnancy going so far? I hope it's going great. Well, so there is this one thing which I wanted to tell you. You know, during pregnancy, most of us, most of us have this craving for, you know, different kinds of food. But it is not right to eat everything that we crave for, you know, we want to eat and all sorts of things because... During pregnancy, our body is undergoing a lot of changes, you know. Every part of our body is become extremely delicate and very sensitive, right? And just not us. Even the little baby which is growing in our tummy is also dependent on the food that we consume, right? So if you want your baby to have a good growth as well as development, both brain development and physical development, it is important that as a mother... You make sure that you re-eat the correct food and the, the correct quantity. Okay, so today I'm going to talk to you about some food which you must certainly restrain yourself from. Okay, so stay tuned to know more. First, avoid fish which contains high level of mercury because this can cause a damage to the fetal brain development and as well as also cause in certain developmental delays. So some of the fish which you must avoid are the swordfish, shark, king mackerel. Also, if you're pregnant, make sure you avoid all raw fish, which means forget about consuming sushi. Even fish or cell fish that are undercooked like the oysters, clams, mussels should certainly be avoided. Also make sure that you do not consume two or three servings a week of fish like shrimp, salmon, sardine, catfish and squid. Second one is avoid consuming certain amount of meat, right? Because certain meat contain this harmful organism called as listeria. Now this is responsible for causing certain foodborne illness, right? And they can eventually cause premature delivery, miscarriage and even fetal death. So make sure you avoid any of these cold cuts, fermented or dry sausages, refrigerated pâtés, or even rare or undercooked meats or poultry. The next one is cheese, right? Unless and until you consume soft cheese, which is clearly labeled as made from pasteurized milk, do not consume it. It is certainly not safe for both mother as well as the baby. The next one is eggs. Now, make sure you do not consume raw eggs. Okay, it is not safe for you because it contains an organism called as salmonella, which is extremely dangerous. So make sure you stay yourself away from uncooked cake batter and cookie dough, homemade mayonnaise and even Caesar dressing. The next one is alcohol. And make sure you strictly restrain yourself from alcohol. So a lot of patients ask me, doctor, what is the minimum quantity of alcohol that we can consume while you're pregnant? Well, I tell all my patients, it is best to just restrain yourself. There is nothing like a minimum quantity and everything like that because each person's body, you know, reacts to alcohol in a different way. And it can cause something called as fetal alcohol syndrome in your fetus, in your little growing baby. And this can eventually cause you know, a developmental delay. And it can also cause a delay in the physical development, the mental development, the learning abilities. Well, you really don't want that to happen to your baby, right? So just restrain yourself completely from alcohol during this pregnancy journey. Well, your next question would be, Doctor, can I have some amount of coffee? Well... Don't have to skip your early morning dose of coffee, you know, but make sure you don't go beyond that. Okay, again, it depends on how you prepare that coffee. So let me make it very clear. Make sure you do not go beyond 200 grams of caffeine per day. Okay, that is extremely important. Too much of coffee can actually have an effect on the fetus. Another important thing which you must remember is salt consumption. Make sure you restrict the amount of salt in your diet because increased salt consumption can also cause an increased retention of water, right? Increased salt consumption can also cause a raise in your blood pressure and this can lead to a condition called as preeclampsia in your baby, you know, wherein there is, you know, you have a premature delivery or complications in your baby because of an increased blood pressure of the mother. So make sure you restrict the amount of salt in all the foods that you consume. Again, vegetables. 
So that is an important thing which you must remember. So probably our parents or grandparents generation, it was fine because most of these vegetables were naturally grown and there were no chemicals added to it. But we know that is not the situation nowadays, right? How much ever we say organic and things like that, a small amount of spray chemicals have been added to it. So make sure as soon as you bring those vegetables from the market, you put them in a bowl, put some water, add a little bit of salt and keep those vegetables in that for at least some amount of time. I would say half an hour to one hour. After that, thoroughly rinse those vegetables and then only consume them, right? So make sure that you thoroughly wash your vegetables before you consume them. So I would like to conclude by saying that during pregnancy, we have a lot of food cravings. But more than that, it is important that we avoid food that is extremely dangerous both for the mother as well as for the fetus. So make sure you do not consume the above said items and stay healthy and absolutely happy. Fine. Take care. Bye-bye.